ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my loyal co-host Teddy, and today I wanted to talk about two upcoming CPUs that have had so many rumors and things swirling around them. The first is the Intel i7-9700K. So this is looking like it'll be an 8-core, 16-thread CPU on the mainstream platform. So this will be really good to see. Um, finally, Intel will be stepping up, and I'm really going to be looking forward to it. And the other one will be AMD's response, which is the Ryzen 7 2800X. Now, we don't know that many details about either of them right now, especially the 2800X, but the uh, i7-9700K has a few more details around it, so we can make a few guesses here and there. So it's going to be, as I said, an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. That's good, obviously, an upgrade over the 8700K, which is only a 6-core, 12-thread CPU. But it's also going to mean that Intel will be releasing another platform for it, which will be a Z390. So you'll require a Z390 motherboard to uh, use a 9700K. This is uh, understandable, but people will still be upset about it. I mean, Z370 and Coffee Lake itself haven't really been around that long. There was quite a period from when they launched um, to when people could actually get them and so, like, there were so, such shortages with them that just people couldn't buy them for a few months or they had, you know, a lot of difficulty buying them. And it hasn't been that long. It's like, what, like 10 months? So it's going to be frustrating to some people, but there is probably a good reason. Obviously, going up to an 8-core, uh, there's probably going to be changes being made to the power delivery systems and other things like that. Um, and there will also be other upgrades, I'm sure, with the motherboard itself. But yeah, it's still a bit frustrating for a lot of people out there. The other thing that it will be frustrating for many people is that it looks like it will be 14 nanometer. Not 10 nanometer, 14 nanometer. So it'll be like a Coffee Lake refresh. A refresh on a refresh on a refresh. Uh, they've been on 14 nanometer for so long now that that's also been frustrating to a lot of people out there too, me included. This is something that Intel really needs to get onto. I've, I know that they've been having trouble with it uh, with 10 nanometer that is but really guys come on you need to get onto it a little bit more there um, imagine this in the olden days you know we we saw such gains going through right from Sandy Bridge on up until recently and it's just sort of uh, stalled basically and we haven't seen it but you know obviously things change and there's all kinds of difficulties behind the scenes and all of that stuff well, but, but what about the clock speeds that's a good thing to talk about uh, clock speeds wise for me this will be a guess based on previous Intel CPUs 8 core CPUs I would imagine the base clock would be something like 3.6 gigahertz to 3.8 gigahertz as a sort of conservative guess it could be higher than that but I would say it would be somewhere between those two and in terms of all core boost probably the same as the 8700k or many others i think the 7820x was also 4.3 gigahertz i think that's where it'll be for like an all core so all eight cores uh turbo will probably be around 4.3 and then as far as the uh max turbo frequency would go i would say most likely it'd be something like 4.5 to 4.7 area that's what i would imagine um, but as always guys with everything I talk about in today's video I want to know in the comment section down below what you guys think uh, About it because I'm just guessing here and I'm basing that off things I've read and you know previous Intel CPUs Now let's go over to the AMD side So AMD have actually said that you know they have the 2800x up their sleeve so to speak But what would it actually be? so for me, I think it would be it's either going to be like an 8-core, 16-thread CPU, like the 2700X and 2700, but like a super bin version with maybe even higher clock speeds than the 2700X. That could be one way they combat the 9700K. The other way would be to go up to 
10 cores and 20 threads on the mainstream platform. That could be another thing they do. Uh, again, not sure about that. <laughs> no idea what the clock speeds would be on the, if it was just a super bend 8 core, I'd imagine you'd be starting to see sort of 4.4, 4.5 gigahertz, if that's even possible for them. Um, the 2700X, I mean, goes up to about 4.35. So that could be something. But uh, yeah, the 2800X, there's even less information about and even less rumors about uh, because it's just something that seems like AMD's waiting. They want to see what the 9700K is and then maybe they'll pump out the 2800X or something like that. But as always, guys, I want to know what you think. So please let me know in the comment section down below. If Intel released something like the 9700K, would you be interested in it? Would, be, would it be something that you might actually buy? And also, the i5-9600K, that would probably go up to being a 6-core 12-thread CPU, which would be really good for a lot of people out there. That would be and good competition for AMD with their Ryzen 5, so that could be another interesting thing there. But let me know in the comment section down below. I want this to be a discussion. I'll be down there reading all the comments, replying to you guys. Uh, so just let me know what you think about these two upcoming, potentially, well, the 9700K, it's looking definitely like that'll be coming out. 2800X, yeah, I still imagine that'll come out, but hey, we'll just have to see how things play out uh, in the future. I right, thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already, and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.